Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we are going to solve problem number 2466, count ways to build good strings. First, we will see the explanation of the problem statement, then the logic and the code. Now let's dive into the solution. So in this problem, we need to construct a string which is called a good string. So the good string should be at least the length of low. So in this case, the low is 3. So it should be at least a length of 3, right? So at max, we can extend this string to high. So in this case, high is also 3. So we don't have to extend the length of string. So we just need to find the possible strings of length 3. So what if the high is 4? We need to find all the combinations of good strings of length 3. Then we need to find all the combination of length 4 as well. So we need to add all the combinations at the end. We need to return the answer, right? So now we will see the next set of conditions. So in this example, we have a length of 3. So now we will see how to form the string. So in this space, I can fill with zeros and ones. So if I choose to append zero, I can only append 0 of 0 times. So this 0 is nothing but the 0 variable, which is nothing but 1. So I can append 1 0 at a time. Also, if I try to append 1, I can append 1 1 at a time. So here 1 is also 1, right? And I can choose 0 or 1 to fill this space. So we need to find all the combinations of strings that can be formed. So now what if 0 is 2? I'll just empty the space. So now if I try to append 0 in the space, since we have changed 0 to 2, I should append 0. If I try to append 0, I should append it as 2. Since we have 2 as the input, right? So we need to append two zeros at the time, at the same time, if I try to append zero. And I can append one, one at a time. I can fill the space with one. But I cannot fill the space with one zero, since we need to append zero of two times. So we can only append zero of two, right, at the same time. So this is not valid in this particular example. We can append one, since one can be appended one time. So if I want to append 1, I can append 1 at the same time. Since we have 1 of 1 time, right? So we can add 1 as 1 by 1, right? Whereas if I choose to append 0, I can only append 0 of 2 times. That is what this 2 refers to. That is the difference here, right? So we need to find the number of valid strings that can be formed. So we are going to solve this problem using hash map, right? So now we will see how we are going to do this. So here we have the hash table DP. So here we are going to assume we have an empty string. Here zero represents the length of the string. That is the empty string that is zero. And here we are going to consider the empty string as one. So the 1 represents the number of valid strings that can be formed. So we are just considering the empty string as 1, right? We are just considering empty string as 1 valid string. Then we are going to write a loop where we are going to start from 1 to the maximum possible string can be formed. So high plus 1, we need to include high in this case. So in the problem statement, it is given that we need to include high. That is why we have mentioned high plus 1. So we are going to start from 1. So the 1 represents the length of the string is 1. So we are going to find the number of possible cases for the length of 1. So first, we are going to find the number of strings, number of valid strings that can be formed that ends with 0. That is what I represented here. So we are going to take the current length, i.e. that is 1, and we need to subtract 0. That is 1 as well. 
So we are going to get 0, right? We need to look 0 in the hash map and we need to pick that value. So we are going to get 1. So one string will be ending with 0. That is only one 0 can be filled in the space, right? That this is the starting and ending. So we are just counting that. So this will be 1. So z will be 1 here. So this represents the number of valid strings that ends with 0 in the given length. So in the length of 1, we can only find a string that ends with 0 as 1. So similarly, we need to find the number of strings that can be formed that ends with 1 in the given ith space. So in this space, we can only want, have 1, right? So to calculate that, we will take the current length, that is i, that which is nothing but 1, and one variable is 1. So we have to look in the hash map. We are going to get 0, right? So we need to look 0 in the hash map. So then we will pick the value 1. Then we will initialize the o variable as 1. Then we need to add these two z and o we are going to get 2 here now we need to update the hash map so in the length of 1 in the space 1 we can form two valid strings right next we will take the next space that is length of 2 we have two space now so now again we need to find the number of valid strings that ends with 0 so the valid strings will be 0 0 so here this string, this valid string ends with 0 and there is also another combination which is nothing but 1, 0. This combination is also ending with 0. So the answer we will be getting 2. So now we will just check whether we are getting 2 or not. So we need to take the current length that is i, that is 2, right? Then we need to subtract 1, that is 0. The 0 variable is 1, so we need to subtract 1 and we will be getting 1 here. Then we need to look 1 in the hash map and we will pick that particular value which is nothing but 2. So 2 combinations. So it is valid, right? So z will be 2. Similarly, we look for 1. Again, we will be getting 2 here. Then we again, we will be adding these 2. We will be having 4. Then we need to update the hash map so for the given length 2, we can form 4 valid strings. So now we will be having 3. So we will be having 3 space now. So now we need to find the number of valid strings that ends with 0 of the given length in the length of 3, right? So we will be taking the difference between the current length and the 0, which is nothing but 1 we are going to get 2 here right so we need to look 2 in the hash map we will pick the particular value again we will do the same thing for 1 where we take the current length and 1 which is nothing but 1 again we will be getting 2 so we need to look in the hash map we will pick the value which is nothing but 4 so this represents number of valid strings that can be end with 1. So in this case it is 4. So now we just need to add these two. We will be getting 8. Right? So now we just need to update the hash map. So for the given length 3 we can form 8 valid strings. So the loop is done. So here high plus 1 is 4. So we are done with the loop. So the hash map we created is for the minimum length 1 to the maximum length but we don't require from the minimum length right we only require from low to high plus one we need to include high so plus one so i will write another loop where i will start from three to high plus one so we only consider all the possible combinations from three to high so we will start summing from the low length that is 3 so low here is 3 right so we need to start from 3 so here in 3 we are having 8 then we need to sum the next values 
so in this case we don't have to do anything further we just need to return 8 at the end so the answer will be 8 for this particular input so the time complexity will be order of high and space will be order of high as well that's how the logic is now we will see the code before we code if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel please like and subscribe this will motivate me to upload more videos in future and also check out my previous videos and keep supporting guys so initially i will be initializing empty string in the hash map that is zero and we will be mentioning the value as one then i will be writing the for loop where we will be starting from one to high then we will be computing the number of valid strings that ends with 0 for the given length that is i given length i right similarly we will be doing it for 1 as well then we need to add these two and then we will be updating the hash map with the number of valid strings that can be formed for the given length i since we have computed from the minimum possible length to the maximum possible length but we don't require to sum all the values we just need to sum all the values from low to high so we only look for those values in the hash map then we will add them then we will be returning the answer right and the reason why we are using mod here is that since in the problem statement it is mentioned we will be ending up with larger so in order to handle that we need to use mod that's how the code is now we will run the code as you guys see it's pretty much efficient thank you guys for watching this video please like share and subscribe this will motivate me to upload more videos in future and also check out my previous videos keep supporting happy learning cheers guys